I am Kiara Perkins. I have been a student of the Radiant Rose Academy for nine years. I have been on many different spiritual paths. When I discovered my I Am Presence in the Radiant Rose Academy, I knew, I found, what I had been searching for all of my life. The Radiant Rose Academy is in Vancouver, Canada. The messengers Usa and Excalibur have been trained in many of their past lifetimes to bring forth accurate information from the Ascended Masters. Usa and Excalibur have been trained by a son, an Ascended Master, to transmit not only the message, but the actual energy of the Ascended Being. Jesus, Saint Germain, Mother Mary, Katumi, and many other Masters, as well as the Elohim, the Immortals, the Archangels, and the Avatars. My information comes from these Masters. Their information is authentic, it is accurate, in essence, it is truth. America is to be the light of the world. This is a fact. And this information has come from the higher realms. The light of God never fails. The love of God always fulfills. It is America's destiny. We are the I Am Creator race from the Great Central Sun. In the first golden age, we were gods and goddesses. We lost our way 14 and a half million years ago. We closed our hearts. We lost our connection with the Divine Mother. Planet Earth is important to our solar system. We are also important because we have our destiny to fulfill. However, without Mother Kasha, Jesus, Saint Germain, and all the ascended beings, we would not be able to overcome the challenges we have created. We are blessed to have so many amazing beings just a call away. It is true that America at this moment is not an exemplary example of honor and integrity. We have been involved in several wars. We have not honored the powers of nature or the forces of the elements. Power, wealth, greed, control, manipulation are the sources of chaos and harm that has made America what it is today. We have much to change. This is our challenge, and it is our opportunity to help America fulfill her destiny to be the light of the world and to return the entire world back into the pristine beauty it once knew in the first golden age. When the Constitution was written, it required courage for the 56 men to sign the Declaration of Independence. St. Germain appeared and said, Gentlemen, sign the document. The men who signed the document suffered from this act of heroism. The price they paid was enormous. Of the 56 men, five were captured by the British, tortured before they died. Twelve had their homes ransacked and burned. Two lost their sons in the Revolutionary Army. Nine fought and died from wounds. Many of their homes were destroyed and looted. Their fl families were in danger. A great price was paid for this great document that holds the integrity and honor that America is to exemplify. Today, there are three dispensations. Jesus' golden ray of all Christ illumination, Mother Kasha's rose pink ray of love, will, and grace, and St. Germain's violet purple ray of love, mercy, and forgiveness. Does it not seem amazing that our little planet has attracted great cosmic beings to come to our aid? Jesus came from a galaxy far away, the Golden Shrine Galaxy, where he is King of Kings. 
Mother Kasha and a son came from the great central sun. And Saint Germain came from the violet planet Arcturus. Jesus taught the power of love. Mother Kasha awakened in mankind the necessity of the love of the Divine Mother. Saint Germain brought the sacred fire that purifies and cleanses not only mankind, but the earth and the atmosphere as well. He spent 70,000 years studying mankind in order to find a way to help us undo all the ways of behavior that are keeping us from advancing spiritually. The planet Venus was our guardian planet for many years until recently Saint Germain with his sacred fire took over this sacred responsibility. We have many who have played a major role in assisting us. We have the 13 goddesses, the goddesses of faith, hope, charity, the goddesses of peace, of harmony, and purity. The great goddess of liberty stands on the shores of New York. She is 305 feet and one inch from the ground to the tip of the flame. In her right upstretched hand is the flame of freedom, and underneath her feet are broken chains representing overcoming tyranny and enslavement. In her left hand is a tablet inscribed with the date July 4th, 1776, the date of the signing of the Declaration of Independence and the birth of the United States of America as a nation. The Divine Director has allowed dispensations to take place, so we can be given all the assistance we need. Lord Metatron, the firstborn in the Great Central Sun, has offered his expertise. Legions, legions, legions of angels are available to Jesus, Mother Kasha, Saint Germain, and Michael the Archangel. The Elohim, the Immortals, the Avatars are helping us. We have 200 Ascended Masters who are on the front line available to us at any time, and there are thousands of other Ascended Beings who are also willing to help us. We are indeed blessed. We are now in the second year of the Seventh Golden Age, which began on December 22nd. 2012. The sinister force is very powerful. Consequently, we need the assistance of Michael the Archangel, Lord Astria, and Saint Germain to rid the world of the negativity and power that the sinister force now holds. There will be, sometime in the future, there will be three days of darkness and three days of light. The sinister force will then be defeated by St. Germain, Michael, the Archangel, and Astria. The atmosphere will be fresher than it has ever been. The oceans will be 40% cleaner. We will then be able to begin to bring our planet back into the perfection we once knew in the first golden age. It is said if America goes down, the entire planet goes down. Cyclopeia, the all-seeing eye of God, said the seventh golden age will succeed. Five golden ages have failed in the past. Mighty victory is known for the fact that he only knows victory. He is never involved in failure. He too has joined the ranks of those who are assisting us. Thus, it is evident, we shall be victorious. God bless America, land of our dreams. Bless our mountains, bless our valleys, bless our streams. God bless America, all that we desire. Bless our future, bless all life, bless the sacred fire. 
God bless America, all that is good and pure. Bless the animals, bless the children. May peace forever endure. From the oceans to the mountains, to perfection's golden, violet, rose pink ray, God bless America forever and today. Saint Germain has asked us to say his oath of allegiance every day. This day, I give my allegiance to my beloved I Am Presence, to the Ascended Masters and the great angelic host for their divine plan for America and the seventh golden age fulfilled. I am who I am. I am what I am. I am that I am. This day, I swear to live by freedom's flames, conduct, code, courage, respect, obedience, silence, honor, truth, and chivalry. I am who I am. I am what I am. I am that I am. Thank you, Saint Germain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mother Kasha. Thank you, Father, Son, and all ascended beings for not giving up on us and for continuing to assist us. The light of God never fails. The love of God always fulfills. America will be the light of the world. It is her destiny. I thank you. <laughs>